Welcome to our educational animation, where we'll take you on a fascinating journey to understand heart, heart block and its solutions. But first, let's understand what is our blood vessels and heart and how they perform to maintain proper working and good health of our body. Our blood vessels, much like highways in a city, transport blood throughout our bodies, ensuring all our organs receive the oxygen and nutrients they need to function. Sometimes, these blood vessels or arteries can become blocked or narrowed due to conditions like heart disease, stroke or due to the accumulation of plaque, a mixture of cholesterol, fat, and other substances. This can restrict blood flow to the heart, leading to various heart conditions. Symptoms of blocked arteries may include chest pain, shortness of breath, and fatigue. If left untreated, it can lead to severe heart problems. To diagnose and treat these issues, doctors may recommend an angiogram. The angiogram procedure starts with identifying the optimal entry point for the catheter. Most commonly used entry points are radial artery or femoral artery. A catheter a thin, flexible tube is inserted into a blood vessel, this catheter becomes the vehicle through which medical professionals navigate the arterial maze. And before the procedure, the patient is typically given a sedative to help them relax. The insertion site is cleaned. They may also receive local anesthesia at the site where the catheter will be inserted. Using X-ray guidance, the catheter is carefully threaded through the blood vessels until it reaches the area to be examined. Once the catheter is in position, the contrast dye is injected through the catheter into the bloodstream. The dye flows with the blood through the blood vessels. These dye is a contrast material that contains iodine, which is visible on X-rays, that make blood vessels visible on X-ray images or MRI machines. As the dye moves through the arteries and veins, it illuminates any areas of concern, such as blockages or narrowing in the blood vessels, providing crucial information allowing doctors to make an accurate diagnosis and plan treatment if necessary. X-ray images are taken as the dye moves through the blood vessels. These images help the doctor visualize any blockages, narrowing, or abnormalities in the blood vessels. After the necessary images are obtained, the catheter is removed, and pressure may be applied to the insertion site to prevent bleeding. The patient is typically observed for a short period to ensure there are no complications. After the procedure, the dye is eventually filtered out of the body by the kidneys and excreted in the urine. Once the angiogram is complete, doctors can analyze the images to determine the best course of action whether it's medication, lifestyle changes, or procedures like angioplasty or stent placement to restore blood flow, or a open heart, bypass surgery. Now there are some new advanced methods that helps to avoid complicated, open heart bypass surgery, and helps to remove strong plaque coats in the blood vessels without much complication with the help of some new advanced machineries. Angioplasty is a medical procedure used to widen narrowed or blocked arteries. Let's delve into the various techniques used by medical professionals. First up, we have balloon angioplasty, also known as percutaneous transluminal coronary angioplasty PTCA. The balloon catheter is a fundamental tool in angioplasty. It consists of a thin tube with an inflatable balloon at its tip is carefully positioned within the narrowed artery. Once the guiding catheter is in place, a balloon catheter is advanced to the targeted area, once inserted into the blocked artery. With utmost precision, the balloon is gently inflated. This controlled inflation compresses the plaque against the artery walls, widening the vessel and restoring proper blood flow to the heart. Stent is a tiny mesh tube that is inserted in the affected area which act as a supportive structure to keep the artery open. 
In this a stent catheter is used. This specialized catheter delivers and deploys the stent, which acts as a supportive structure to keep the artery open. After compressing the plaque against the artery walls using balloon catheter stent is introduced with the help of a stent catheter. Will be placed in the affected position. This tiny mesh tube is expanded within the vessel, acting as a scaffold to prevent re-narrowing and maintain proper blood flow. Medicines applied on the stent will prevent re-accumulation of plaque in that area. Some situations, such as coronary arteries have, more than 70% of block, or blockage in multiple arteries, angioplasty is not that much efficient to, remove blocks in that places. In these situations open heart surgery is a better solution. The surgery involves, taking a healthy blood vessel from, another part of the body, often the leg, arm or chest, and, using it to create a, new pathway for blood to flow, around the blocked artery. This new pathway, or, bypass, allows oxygen-rich blood to reach the heart muscle. There are a few advanced, efficient techniques, that reduce the necessity of, open heart bypass surgery. Atherectomy catheter and, rothablatory catheter, are the much advanced catheters are now using to, remove severe blocks in the artery efficiently, and avoid bypass surgery. Atherectomy catheters are equipped with laser rays or cutting or scraping devices to remove plaque from the artery. This advanced technique allows for precise plaque removal, ensures a thorough and effective treatment of hardened blockages, restoring a clear and unobstructed pathway for blood flow. This procedure is also often combined with stent implantation, acting as a scaffold to prevent re-narrowing and maintain proper blood flow. Medicines applied on the stent will prevent re-accumulation of plaque in that area. The rotablator catheter is an innovative tool that uses rotational force to break down calcified plaque. Ensures a thorough and effective treatment of hardened blockages. Restoring a clear and unobstructed pathway for blood flow. This procedure is also often combined with stent implantation, acting as a scaffold to prevent re-narrowing and maintain proper blood flow. Medicines applied on the stent will prevent re-accumulation of plaque in that area. These are just a few of the many angioplasty procedures used by medical professionals to treat narrowed or blocked arteries. Angioplasty is a medical procedure designed to open narrowed or blocked blood vessels, typically arteries supplying blood to the heart muscle. Over time, arteries can become narrowed due to the accumulation of plaque, a mixture of cholesterol, fat, and other substances. This can restrict blood flow to the heart, leading to various heart conditions. Now, let's explore how angioplasty works. Angioplasty begins with the careful insertion of a catheter, a slender tube, into the bloodstream. This catheter becomes the vehicle through which medical professionals navigate the arterial maze to treat blockages. The journey starts with identifying the optimal entry point for the catheter. This decision is based on factors such as the location of the blockage, accessibility, and the overall condition of the patient's arteries. Most commonly used entry points are radial artery and femoral artery. Radial artery it is also called radial approach. The radial artery approach, often referred to as the radial approach or wrist approach, involves gaining access to the arterial system through the radial artery in the wrist. This approach has gained popularity in recent years due to its advantages, including a lower risk of complications and enhanced patient comfort. During angioplasty procedures, a catheter is carefully threaded through the radial artery, allowing for access to the coronary arteries. Patients who undergo angioplasty via the radial approach often experience quicker recovery times, reduced bleeding complications, and increased overall satisfaction. The femoral artery approach, also known as the femoral approach or groin approach, 
involves accessing the arterial system through the femoral artery located in the groin area. This traditional approach is characterized by a larger catheter size capability, making it suitable for more complex procedures. While the femoral approach may be associated with a slightly higher risk of complications and longer recovery times compared to the radial approach, it remains a valuable option in situations where a larger catheter size is necessary or when anatomical considerations favor this access point. The femoral approach is often chosen for complex angioplasty procedures and interventions such as stent placement. First guiding catheters are skillfully maneuvered through the arteries, these providing a stable pathway for other devices. This ensures precise navigation and accurate placement at the site of the blockage. Once the guiding catheter is in place, a balloon catheter is advanced to the targeted area. The balloon catheter is a fundamental tool in angioplasty. It consists of a thin tube with an inflatable balloon at its tip is carefully positioned within the narrowed artery. Once inserted into the blocked artery. With utmost precision, the balloon is gently inflated. This controlled inflation compresses the plaque against the artery walls, widening the vessel and restoring proper blood flow to the heart. In cases where a stent is needed, a stent catheter is introduced. This specialized catheter delivers and deploys the stent, which acts as a supportive structure to keep the artery open. This tiny mesh tube is expanded within the vessel, acting as a scaffold to prevent re-narrowing and maintain proper blood flow. Medicines applied on the stent will prevent re-accumulation of plaque in that area. Angioplasty can provide immediate relief by improving blood flow to the heart, reducing symptoms, and enhancing overall heart function. If the blockage condition is more severe, atherectomy catheter or rothablatory catheter may be ushered to remove the block. Atherectomy catheters are equipped with laser rays, to remove calcified plaque from the artery. This advanced technique allows for precise plaque removal, ensures a thorough and effective treatment of hardened blockages, restoring a clear and unobstructed pathway for blood flow. This procedure is also often combined with stent implantation, acting as a scaffold to prevent re-narrowing and maintain proper blood flow. Medicines applied on the stent will prevent reaccumulation of plaque in that area. The rotablator catheter is an innovative tool that uses rotational force to break down calcified plaque. Ensures a thorough and effective treatment of hardened blockages. Restoring a clear and unobstructed pathway for blood flow. This procedure is also often combined with stent implantation acting as a scaffold to prevent re-narrowing and maintain proper blood flow. Medicines applied on the stent will prevent re-accumulation of plaque in that area. Post-angioplasty, it's crucial to adopt a heart-healthy lifestyle. This includes regular exercise, a balanced diet, and medication adherence as prescribed by your healthcare provider. And there you have it, a brief journey through the world of angioplasty. Remember, early detection and intervention can be life-changing. Consult with your healthcare provider for personalized advice and guidance. Thank you for joining us on this educational animation. Stay heart healthy and take proactive steps towards a happier, healthier life.